All right, let's take a look at another lesson. By the way, I'm in my jeans because today is a snow day. I'm looking out the window and uh, it's snowing pretty good. Uh, so we canceled school today, so I'm using this time to make some videos. We're still in business math, page eight, page 30 and 31 now. You know, as you work through all of this stuff about taxes, one of the takeaways, maybe it's an unintended takeaway, but one of the things I think you'll learn is that taxes can get pretty complicated. And the government finds ways to really complicate the math. Um, so a lot of people end up using a software program or having a tax advisor to help them sort it all out. Um, I know my son is self-employed and he pays to have a, an accountant, a tax advisor who knows all the laws, is really good at math, and can make sure that they are dotting their I's, crossing their T's, and paying exactly the right amount, not too much, not too little, and that is paid on time. So that can be pretty important because otherwise there are um, penalties and consequences if you don't pay it on time, which is a real bummer. Okay, let's talk here about page 30. Um, if a person has worked 40 quarters during their working years, so if you figure that out, 40 quarters, four per year, that would be 10 years. So if someone has been working for at least 10 years, they can earn some income um, as Social Security income in their retirement. Um, so the, the minimum is 40 quarters. And then what the uh, government does is they average, figure out what their average earnings were over those quarters. And that's, that's more complicated than that, but that's kind of how they figure out um, how, how much a person will get in retirement. But let's talk about a scenario here. This is actually on page 31. They have five different scenarios to answer questions about. I'm looking at number three, Mr. Stevens. Okay, and it says that they're both 62. George had average yearly earnings of $34,000. His wife has 32 quarters. Will she receive benefits based on her contributions to Social Security? So remember, what was that number? The minimum number of quarters that you have to work in order to earn benefits based on your income. And then the question is, did she reach that limit? So yes or no. How much will they receive each month? All right, so we've got to look at a table here. Let's first figure out Mr. Stevens. So look at the table, retired at 62, and he's way over here at 34,000. So that says 1939, okay? That would be his monthly cash payment. Now, let's figure out uh, Mrs. So if you turn back, let's see. I'm standing here flipping back and forth between these pages. How much will they receive each month? Okay, so that's how much she, but she didn't earn enough quarters. So she is not going to earn anything based on her income, but, but, <clears throat> if you look up in here, it says, even if a spouse has never earned, never worked, he or she can receive a benefit equal to one half the working spouse's retirement amount. So they just kind of slip that into the directions. It's easy to miss that, okay? Um, so let's say a housewife who right out, right out of high school or college got married, never worked a job, never earned quarters, or didn't earn enough quarters. That's actually the case with my wife. She worked some in college and high school. She never earned 40 quarters though. So when I retire, she will get half of whatever I'm earning, all right? So we're gonna take 1939 and divide that by two. So she's gonna earn 969.50. Okay, so I'll let you finish that 
you'll add those two together and that's actually how much they will together receive per month. Then it goes on and it says, now what if, what if they wait um, until age 70 to retire? All right, so let's take that same worker, age 70, so 34,000 would be 2,568. All right, then we're going to take 2,568 divided by 2 is 12,084. So you're going to add that together. That's the total that they'll make if they wait till 70 to retire compared to age 62. But then the question is actually worded at how much more will they make? So now that we've done this math, this is not the answer. We actually have to subtract these two. All right. So take the larger answer, subtract the smaller one and that difference. And again, remember that's per month. So um, what the IRS is trying to do is get people to wait longer to retire, tempting them to earn more per month, but um, thinking that maybe they'll, they'll die sooner and they won't have to pay out that much money for as, as long a period of time. All right. I think that will help you do at least that problem and at least thinking through that process may help you with solving some of the other ones. Make sure you read everything on this directions page because there might be other little things slipped in there that will help you solve some of those problems. So read it carefully. Don't just assume you know what you're doing and uh, just take numbers from that chart. Study it carefully. And uh, if you have any other questions from this pace, um, shoot me an email. I think these are the two big ones from this pace. And uh, we'll see you in the next pace talking about insurance.